often say here on the show, don't we, that there's, you know, when you think about it, there's Harry and Meghan's version of the truth, you know, their version, if you like, of what they wanted to put out. And then there's the real version. Many people laughed, if you remember, way back in that engagement video when the interviewer Michelle Hussein from the BBC asked the question to Meghan what do you know about our British monarchy she famously said well not a lot it's not that big in America and it's not something that she was totally across then of course subsequently pictures popped up uh, writings about Princess Kate many things appeared as we've told you often here on the show so once again, you know, Harry seemingly believed that particular, uh, shall we say, narrative. But now a friend has come forward, and as ever, we have to say allegedly, to claim that in fact Meghan did quite a bit of research against the former one known as Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. And as ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here. Nice to see you. Hope you're all keeping well today. Wherever you are, do keep you safe, uh, keep safe and keep well. I know I say that a lot. But it's what it's all about, isn't it? You know, looking out for each other. Thank you as ever, though, for your very kind comments about uh, not starting up a members thing and, uh, you know, the free stuff. I truly believe we all pay enough in this cost of living crisis, don't we? Who wants to pay anything else? And I don't know about you. I don't know how to do those subscription things. I find them fiddly, annoying. And I often think as well, when you give away your email, you never know where that info's going, do you? Are you like me? Like that? I don't like doing that. Even if you go to the doctors or the dentist, you have to give everything away don't you and suddenly you're getting emails from you know would you like a new set of teeth you think i'm quite happy with my old ones actually but there you go back as ever to your breaking roll story of the day as i say it's interesting with harry and megan you know because megan herself claimed that she knew nothing about the british monarchy and some might say that could be the case rightly so but what is in truly interesting is her friendship with the duke of york's daughter princess eugenie now, as we've seen, they've had a fast friendship since they met at a couple of parties at Soho House long before she finally met, snared, managed to get close to the former royal known as Prince Harry. Now, a very good source who appeared with Eugenie on various nights out said that the royals were in fact discussed at great length. None more so than the fact that both Eugenie taught Meghan how to do a curtsy. Eleven. You know, this is fascinating stuff. So once again, it's fascinating when you look at it on the other side of the coin, because they had numerous nights out, not just over here uh, in the uh, United Kingdom and all the hot spots of London, but when Eugenie also went over to Toronto and obviously had a look around the suit set and things like that. Now, that very good source also pointed out that Eugenie and Meghan became very close very quickly. And what's interesting, again, is that if, of course, you are suddenly fast friends with the daughter of someone so senior within the British monarchy, the British royal family, why wouldn't you do your research into one person to see exactly the background, who they're connected with, you know, obviously her father, that sort of thing. Now, if you remember, in Prince Harry's book, the validation came to him, apparently, that Meghan knew nothing about the British monarchy when, attending an event, she mistook Prince Andrew for his personal servant, standing next to our wonderful and late monarch, Queen Elizabeth II. Now, as ever, don't you find that odd that she would have seen pictures of her good friend, Eugenie, with the Duchess of York and the Duke of York? So how could she have possibly not known who they were? Now, what's also keen to point out is this. A lot of these stories are now filtering through by people who seemingly are as fed up with the rest of us as Meghan's own, shall we say, <laughs> rather strange narrative about exactly what she knew and what she didn't know. But either way, many people will say the net is finally closing in because clearly she was less than truthful from the very start and that BBC engagement interview. She clearly knew more than she actually let on in that interview. But why was she holding back? As ever, this is a developing story and when I know more, you'll know more. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.